Okay, we're going to release the first image right here at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, Maryland, and we're just outside of Washington, D.C. NASA Goddard is home to the project office of the Webb Telescope, and the observatory po portion of the telescope, the, the mirrors and the science instruments, were integrated and tested here before launch. So for many of us, including myself, seeing Webb come together bit by bit right in front of our eyes was an emotional and very inspiring experience. So it's kind of like a part of us was out there with Webb right now. A million miles away, part of our hopes and dreams are out there. So I'm joined now by Jane Rigby, the operations project scientist for the Webb mission. And she's a familiar face for people who've been following this before. So welcome, Jane. Hi, Michelle. OK, so Jane, you not only get the honor of revealing the first image, but th this actually got a little bit of a sneak preview. I understand yes. there was a very select audience who's already seen the image. Yes, so last night, uh, on behalf of the project, I had the privilege of traveling to the White House uh, with, the Nelson, with the NASA Administrator Nelson and other senior sh staff to share our first image with President Biden and Vice President Harris. And it, it, it was really fun. Oh my gosh. Um, we're, uh, they really geeked out. We had a closed door session where we got to walk through all the images and just share the excitement. And they were so thrilled and they got the profundity of what we're seeing. And so now we're gonna, we're gonna let's do it. Okay, we've got the whole world watching. Are you ready to put the first image up? Oh, let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, here we go. Ah, <laughs> okay, so the first image is a deep field and it's also a deep field with a cluster. So why don't we walk through this just a little bit? So if we come up and look at this image, first of all, it's really gorgeous yeah. and it's teeming with galaxies. And that's something that has been true for every image we've gotten with Webb. We can't take blank sky. Everywhere we look, there's galaxies everywhere. And so you know, this, gal this, this image, as we're looking at it, what we're seeing is not just all the galaxies, but there's a cluster here. And so the cluster are all these white kind of ethereal galaxies. We're seeing them as they looked back in time. Right? The speed of light is only so fast. And so as we're seeing distant galaxies out in space, we're seeing them as they looked billions of years ago. So these cluster galaxies, the white ones, we're seeing as they looked about the time the sun and the Earth formed. And then behind the cluster, we have uh, the, clus the, the, the gravity of the cluster is distorting and warping our view of what's behind. And so there are these galaxies that look stretched and pulled, kind of like, like they've been magnified because they've been magnified by the gravity of the cluster, just like Einstein said they would. And you know, it's really, there's so much detail here. We're seeing these galaxies in a way that we've never been able to see before. There's just a sharpness and a clarity we've never had. And so we can look at, if we zoom in on this image, and I encourage you as you grab this image at home, like zoom in, it, you can, you know, really zoom in and play around. There are galaxies here in which you're seeing individual clusters of stars forming, popping up just like popcorn. Um, and then we also see in the background of this, of this image kind of littered like jewels all over the back of the image are these faint red galaxies. Now that was what we built the telescope to do. The most distant of those are billions of years. We're seeing as they looked more than 13 billion years ago. And so galaxies like that one right there, this little red guy, you're like, OK, yep. <laughs> what is that? Well, Webb got spectra to figure out what those galaxies are made of. And this is that one. We're seeing as it looked 13.1 billion years in the past, less than a billion years after the Big Bang. And we're seeing the elements of oxygen, and hydrogen as well as neon. You know, this is the kind, this is how the oxygen in our bodies was made in stars, in galaxies, and we're seeing that process get started. Yeah, I just I want to give this a little bit of context. So this is now the farthest away galaxy that we have this sort of detailed information about. That we know what it's made of. We know like what it's that. made of. Yes. And this was not a long exposure for Webb. No, the 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 the, pre the previous record holder, right, the Hubble uh, Extreme Deep Field, mm -hmm. was two weeks of continuous work with Hubble, and it was just imaging. With Webb, we took that image before breakfast. The amazing thing about Webb is the speed at which we can churn out discoveries. So everything that you're going to see here in this broadcast is a week, and we're going to be doing discoveries like this every week. That is absolutely incredible, Jane. So thank you so much for joining us. I, it's it been an honor to be working with you. Congratulations on all your hard work. <laughs> thank you. It's so wonderful to see it pay off. So thank you. And I'll see you later on today, I hope. So yes. enjoy the day. Thank you. All right. So from distant galaxies, we now turn our eye to something a bit closer. It's a planet, 
but not one in our solar system. Remember that Earth and its sibling planets aren't the only show in the universe. When scientists and engineers started developing